So here's one that's 100% whole grain and it's very inexpensive and it's regularly available. And there are many other brands we can see of whole wheat. And for those who are allergic to wheat, you can also get 100% corn. And there's also brown rice pasta, which is right here. So you can get brown rice pasta. So for those who are allergic to wheat, also in this section, what I like to do is get tomato products. And down here, this is my favorite in this store. This is a uh, just a brand of whole tomatoes that are unsalted. So the only ingredients are tomatoes, tomato puree, and that's it. In addition, they make a tomato puree that's no salted, so I like to get that. Also, here's another brand, it's very common, and this is called Pomi. They have both strained tomatoes and they have chopped tomatoes, and both of those are no fat and no salt. Before we go too far, right here, are um, a wide variety of beans and they're all unsalted. So here we have pinto beans, here we have black beans, here we have kidney beans, and here we have garbanzo beans. They're all no salt added, no fat added, they're just beans. And good, this week they're on sale. So we'll add some of those. Okay, here's another whole grain that I really like, and this is quinoa. And one of the reasons I like it is it's because it's quick cooking. You can cook this in 10 minutes, which fits my guidelines. This is another one of my favorite products. This is brown rice, but this has been pre-steamed. So this brown rice, you can actually cook in 10 minutes. All you have to do is put it in a pot of boiling water. 10 minutes later, you have perfect brown rice. So I love this. Now, if you'd rather just cook brown rice from scratch, you can again buy brown rice here. And again, regular supermarket, we find all the items we need. And if you'll notice, this is even organic now, in case that's a choice you want to make. <clears throat> in addition, there are different varieties of instant brown rice. This is my favorite because all you do is drop it in boiling water, no measuring at all. So, so far we got instant brown rice, we got no salt beans, we got no salt tomato products, we've got whole grains, and we've got intact whole grains. We're about halfway through the list. Here's another one of my favorite sections, and that is frozen vegetables. These are so easy to use, they're inexpensive, there's no waste, there's no cutting, cleaning, there's just dozens of varieties, so you can have mixes, and there's also individuals. So no matter what you're looking for, there's so many options available to you, and I just load up on these every week. Now here is swordfish. Okay, just kidding. Here's another product that I love, Tabachnik makes a low sodium, no salt, no sugar added, low fat frozen soups. And there's three varieties, split pea, vegetable, and a barley. And they're all great. They cook in 10 minutes, you just microwave them or in boiling water. And we're gonna use these in a great way. And uh, here's another variety, here's the vegetable soup, which also comes in real handy. Again, no salt, no sugar, low fat, ready to go. Okay, so I've just finished shopping for the recipes that we're going to be making and I just want to show you the products we got and what they look like. First, I got a bunch of frozen vegetables and a lot of different varieties. I got collards and I got, uh, I got frozen kale and I got frozen, uh, let's see, we got turnip greens here. And not only can I get individuals, I can also get mixes. So I got a vegetable soup mix here that we'll be using. And I also got a, let's see what we got here. This is called a Roma blend. We're going to be making a dish with that. And all of these are great because they're ready to go. There's no cutting, chopping, preparing, anything, and there's no waste. And on a price per pound basis, you just can't beat these. And I could just keep them in my freezer for whenever I'm ready to use them. So I got lots of frozen vegetables. So let's put them away. Next on the list is uh, frozen fruit for the exact same reason. And one of my favorites is I get this mixed berry mix, 
because not only do I use this uh, for oatmeal, for smoothies, I also make desserts out of it. And one of the problems I have with berries is whenever I buy fresh berries, they always seem to go bad so quickly or moldy. But by using frozen that don't have any sugar added, I have frozen berries. I have uh, berries available to me all year round that I don't have to worry about. And when I'm ready to use them, I just pull the bag out. And not only can I get mixes, here I got dark sweet cherries, which are just delicious, but they're only available certain times of the year. So by buying these, I can have sweet cherries all year round. So I got frozen vegetables and I got frozen fruit. Next on my list are what I call intact whole grains. And these are whole grains as close to their uh, intact kernel form. And uh, some of my favorites here, this is quinoa. And I love quinoa because it just cooks in 10 minutes. In addition, I have kasha, which is also known as buckwheat. This one also cooks in right about 10 minutes, so it works great with my recipes. Uh, here's another whole grain I got. This is more of a breakfast cereal, but this is wheatina. And this is just whole grain wheat. It's been cracked, and so this one also cooks very quickly. In addition, another whole grain I keep on hand is this is oats. And these are Quaker oats. I just get the regular Quaker oats. And these are just steamed and rolled, and so they cook in just minutes, three to five minutes, and they make a delicious, filling, healthy breakfast. Okay, next on my list is, this is a unique item that I found, and I just love it. And that is, this is Success Instant Brown Rice, boil in the bag. And we all love brown rice, and we know it's good for us, but it takes 40 minutes to cook, and not everybody's got 40 minutes. This one has been pre-steamed, that's it. So when you get it, all you have to do is put it in a bag of boiling, put the bag in a pot of boiling water for 10 minutes, and then it's done, that's it. So if you can boil water, you can have great brown rice in 10 minutes. So I always keep this on a hand in case I don't have the time to cook up regular brown rice. Okay, next on the list, this is one of my great finds, and these are canned beans. Now, typically, I wouldn't go for canned foods, but beans, you know, beans are really nutrition powerhouses, and they're so filling, and they're so full of fiber and nutrients. But as many of us know, you got to soak them and then cook them, and it's a very long process. Well, now all I have to do is open a can, and these are salt-free and very low fat. There's nothing really added. Um, except a, a little seaweed to help tenderize the bean. So, and there's many varieties. I got garbanzo beans. I have black beans. I also have kidney beans. And I also have pinno beans. And we're going to be using all of these in our dishes. So I just love these. So, canned beans, no salt, low fat. Ready to go. Next on my list is the another canned product, which although I'm not a big fan of canned products, these are great, and they really help out, and these are tomato products. Now what's interesting is uh, I look for the no salt, and many times you can find them uh, from companies that may not even promote it. You just have to check the label. And the only ingredients in this is tomatoes. That's it. So, and a little citric acid. So these are wonderful, and I can have great tasting tomato base all year round. And not only do I use tomato puree, I also use whole tomatoes, which are packed in puree. There's no salt, no fat. And that's a brand. And here's another brand that I find throughout the nation in most supermarkets, and it's called Pomi. They have strained tomatoes. They have chopped tomatoes. Let's see. And I believe they make a diced tomato, and they're all no fat, no salt added. And I'll tell you, there isn't anything that tastes as close to fresh-picked tomatoes as these products. Okay, next on my list is uh, whole wheat pasta or whole grain pasta. Uh, this is one I find locally. It's very inexpensive. It's 100% whole wheat. That's the only ingredient. This is penne. They also have it in different forms if you like spirals, spaghetti, or fettuccine. And for those of you who may not want to uh, eat wheat or are trying to avoid wheat and gluten, you can also get a uh, whole grain corn pasta and whole grain brown rice pasta. And I find them right here in the local supermarket, right next to the whole grain pasta. So another excellent item to keep on hand. It cooks in about 12 minutes. So that's close enough for me. 
Okay, let's see what we got next. <clears throat> this is a, a unique product that I find. It kind of falls under the frozen vegetables, I would say, but this is Tabotsnik frozen soup mix. And they make three varieties that are no salt added, no fat added. This is split pea. They also make a vegetable soup, and they also make a barley soup. And these are very simple. You just open the package, you put the bag in a pot of boiling water, and 10 minutes later, you have soup. Now, we're not gonna be using these as soup, but we're gonna be using these in part of our uh, recipes tomorrow. And it's just easy to keep on hand in the freezer, so you're always ready to go. Okay, next on my list is uh, dried fruit. Now, I go easy on this, because dried fruit, you know, is very calorie dense, and so it's easy to overeat on but it comes in handy to use in certain recipes and add sweetness. This is my all-time favorite. These are Medjool dates, and fortunately we can now get them all year round, and they're the just sweetest, plumpest, juiciest date there is. And we're gonna use these in a couple recipes. And the staple that I keep on hand are raisins, and I buy them in the bulk box and in the little box, because I like to keep these with me wherever I go. I keep a box or two in my backpack or in my uh, shoulder bag, so, I always have something healthy as a snack. And of course, you can even buy um, organic if you want, if that's a choice you want to make. So uh, again, we go easy on these, but they make great additions to some of the recipes to add some sweetness and some flavor. Okay, next is another calorie dense item, but it's just a very healthy item and you just want to go easy on it, but this is fresh nuts, seeds, and the butters you make from them. This is almond butter. And this is my favorite, and this is a no salt added, all natural. And uh, I, we're gonna use this in a couple recipes. And again, nuts are very calorie dense, and as we all know, very easy to overeat on. So we're not gonna use this as a main course, but as an addition in certain recipes that it can add a little flavor, consistency, and or uh, uniqueness. So we'll be using these. And not only the nut butter, we'll be using a little almonds in some of the uh, recipes, and these are just fresh, raw, unsalted almonds. Okay, last but not least on my regular shopping is spice mixes. And the reason I get these spice mixes is because part of my, uh, part of my recipes are that they're very quick and easy to make, and the complaint I often get is, well, I don't know how to flavor food up. Well, you don't have to worry so much anymore because you could get salt-free spice mixes that are already uh, flavored in different varieties. This is just one I keep on hand. This is Mrs. Dash Salt-Free Table Blend. And to me, this is just an all-around seasoning that I can use in many dishes, and it adds a nice little flavor. In addition, they also, they make a, about a dozen varieties. This is, again, Mrs. Dash Salt-Free, and this is a Southwest Chipotle, Chipotle, and we're gonna be using this in a Mexican kind of dish. And uh, we'll be making an Indian dish, and so instead of knowing how to make and mix up the six or seven different spices to make a curry, I could buy a salt-free curry. So we'll be using this in one of the dishes. And there's many others. Uh, here's an Italian we'll be using in an Italian dish we'll be making. So instead of me, you know, having to measure and weigh out all the different spices for Italian, I could buy this blend. It's salt-free. It has five or six of the spices in the perfect ratios, and I could just add this in. So these are great to keep on hand, and you can find them all salt-free. Well, there you have it. The only thing left is to head home and cook it all up. What I'm gonna be showing you is how you don't even have to know how to cook. All you basically have to know is how to open a few cans or packages and put food together on a stove and warm it up. And in five or 10 minutes, you can have delicious, healthy meals that are really good for you and inexpensive.